here in a minute. We're live. Okay, here we are back. This is Becky and Hey y'all. Scott. So we went to some Goodwills after the storm. Almost got caught up in more storm, but it stayed away. So we could go in and out and not get wet. I thought it was a nice little alley. It was getting a little stir crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we... Uh, I don't know how people tolerate it up north when they get snowed in for weeks. They have lots of hobbies. Lots of hobbies. I get stir crazy after about a day. Yeah. Oh, somebody peeked in and left. Whoop. That's okay. Oh, Tippy's in the house. Tiffy making Down a cameo front. appearance. Sorry, baby. That basket's already full. So, anyway, we've done absolutely nothing today. We well, watched uh, uh, sure old, do wear movie. Me out. old movie. Uh, yeah. What was it called? Red Ball Express. Red Ball Express. Hi, Pam. Um, Tippy, you're going to have to get down, buddy. You're for a haircut? Here. No, I'll don't give him a haircut. <laughs> So I didn't get a, any yarn today, no fabric at the Goodwill, but I did find a few things and Scott found a thing he yeah. has plans for. So I found something for you. You did. We'll show that first. So I have one of the Canon selfie printers where you can print photos directly off your phone. And Scott spotted this, which... It looks like it's all there. I don't know why anybody would donate it. And we paid what ten but ten dollars? Yeah, nine ninety nine. It's got I think multiple packs of some kind of card and three three uh Yeah, it's got this media. Yeah. And it, I, these uh Cartridge. sublimation cartridges have never been used. There's three of these cartridges in there. And then there's yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to see what size they are. Mm -hmm. I think these are the postcard size. So, like four by six or something like that. But in your, um, when you're setting up to print, you can do like a collage. So, I'm thinking I'm going to take a collage of everything I made in January and print it off for my my journal. And then um, I think they're all the same size. Oh, there's some uh, HP photo papers in here oh. too. Well, you that's just like use bonus. that on any inkjet printer. Yeah. So that was a good deal. Ten bucks for all of that. I can print a lot of photos. Yeah. So Box is a bit raggedy. Yeah. They didn't tell how many people ripped that oh, open and looked at it. You did find something else. I sure did. I'm going to show the rest of what I got here if Tippy will let me. And then these were 99 cents each. So I got some yarn. Um, this is kind of a peach. And this is kind of a aquamarine. And I thought those would make a pretty dishcloth. Maybe two. Oh, I and forgot then, about that. Yeah, I did too. I think that's yours to tell about. Yeah. Uh, a twist lock uh, plug, industrial type plug, which I have a need for that for one of the saws that I have in, out in the shop. So, yeah. $2.99, and these are about 25 bucks over at Lowe's. So. Oh, they were asking, uh, in the red cold, you were asking what this was here? These are cartridges to use in my Canon selfie printer. It's a very small printer, and you can even print if you get the right cartridges. That one's got the, the paper for four by six, but you can get paper and print um, little, little two, thumbnails. Yeah, thumbnails or passport photos or uh, two by three size. So it's not like an inkjet. It's a sublimation uh, printing process. It's pretty neat. Yeah. It goes through and it puts your yellow and then it puts blue and red and then it I'm pretty impressed with how good the color is. It, it's excellent. It's excellent. 
Yep. Kathy D says she says they're an awesome little printer. Mine is just sitting over there on the fireplace. I could plug it in and print something off so you guys could see it. Um, I'll, I'll plug it in back here. If Tippy will let me put him down. I'm going to see if I can put him in a basket. Scott has one more thing he found. Yeah, honey. Get in this basket. Got cat hair on it? Imagine that. Oh, hell. Yeah. So this is the little Canon printer, see? And it has this tray, and that's where you put the paper in. Boy, it is dusty. It is dusty crusty. It may take me a minute, so you can tell them about your other, because i got to turn it on. There it comes. So I have a small tapering jig that I sometimes use on the table saw. And I can also use it on a radio arm saw. And uh, but it's it's short. It's it's not a doesn't have much capacity. And if you try to force it to work with something a little longer, it, it gets a little dangerous, it gets a little dodgy. So I've been looking for some metal square tubing to make a longer one. And this was out at the Goodwill. It's some sort of a stand, like you'd set up, maybe put an ironing board on it or something. But uh, it's got this nice square tubing. And all of this stuff is screwed together. So I'm just going to salvage what I want out of it. And it was uh, $5.99. I can't buy this steel at the hardware store for that. So. All right, I've chosen five pictures on here. You just open your camera and you choose which pictures you want. And I'm doing the shuffle layout. You got stuff in it. Yes. And so it'll set it up like in that uh, layout here. Let's see if it'll do because I haven't used it in a while. All right. Um, oh. Print preview. I'm going to tell it to print. Yes. Does it come out a little sunder? No, it, it it'll come. It around. It'll it'll drag this paper in. It'll come out the back a little ways. That snags it back in. So it goes in and out like four times. Well, I haven't watched this. Watched it work. In a long so you got to not have your hand at the back because it's going to come back. Okay. Howard, what are you worrying about? Oh, it's gonna do. So there goes yellow. Sort of sounds like the future. Like I imagine the future would sound when I was a kid. Yeah. Now it's doing the red. So that now looks like those pictures you used to get in the 70s when somebody was trying to do at-home film development. Oh, yeah. Howard. Down in front, sir. Come here. We're trying to show them this printer, you little rotten boy. He's putting the final ceiling on it. So it puts a, a covering film on it so it, you can do art and stuff over it, but you can't damage the pictures. So it's three color steps and then the... Uh, finishing a film. So that's the pr print. And I donated those four baskets. Um, this one, this one, and the two on the bottom over here. This one is mine, but the other four I donated. But then you, what you do is you, you fold over on the perforations. And you have a postcard. So, like, if you were traveling and you wanted to, like, send somebody um, pictures of where you were or what you did that day, you could take pictures. You can do as many as 20 little pictures on here and then print it off, put their address on the back, put a stamp on it, and mail it to them. This won't get damaged at all. So, that's, that's how that prints off. And we really enjoy using it. Scott's going to see if he can print some things off. No. 
No. Just gonna look this up. Oh. Oh. Wow. You talked about your uh, your metal yeah. piece, yeah. yeah. So that was our Goodwill haul, y'all. You just look up uh, Canon Selfie CP. Fuck on there. Oh, well, you can look up KP 108. Just got to pull up the app for that jungle site. Says um, it has the ink and 108 sheets that, to print, the 108 pictures. But if you combine your pictures like I did on here, like for my journal, I don't necessarily need one big picture of every single one of these, but I now have a picture of the ones I donated. Plus, I'll make a note that the purple one is mine that I'm using to hold yarn next to my chair. So these are a lot of fun to use. I, I've really enjoyed mine. That's uh, $79.99. At the jungle place. 75? 79. 79.99. And we got it for $10. Yeah. So we got a deal. Oh, that's a two pack of oh. these. Sorry. So that'd be half price. Be so it's 48 52 no, But still. Auntie Roe is in the red cold. I have not seen you in a while. So thanks for letting us know that you're your uh your ID is a little different. So now I'll know that's Auntie Roe. Awesome. No, this is um a thrifted top. It's one of the Lula Row. Um, in fact, I think this one was brand new that has the rainbow tags in the back. They were kind of um like Avon, but they were clothing brand. I don't know if they're in business anymore, but at the Goodwill where I got the yarn today, I got like six or seven of these shirts at like $4.50 a piece. Uh, a couple months back, we picked these up okay. and I just grabbed this one to wear today and they're all kind of the same. They're nice and long. They cover my belly, <laughs> which makes me happy. So my hair is Seen better days. Yes, Angie, we see you. This shirt covers my belly, but it doesn't hide much anything. <laughs> That's the t-shirt you won for your photo you entered. Oh, yeah. That's true. You've been lurking. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I do that all the time. Yes, Scott and I lurk a lot. Or sometimes I feel like I only have a few minutes to just give a thumbs up and say hi. And then I need to move on because I'm trying to do everything around the house and catch up with everybody. So I'll pop in and then pop out. You know, we all do it. So, nice, Howard. <sighs> Cats. Cats and children. Never work with them. So I think that's all we have as far as Goodwood, Goodwood, Goodwill. <laughs> I'm tired. Can you guys tell? Oh, and Greg made hamburgers from an Ernest Hemingway recipe, and they had capers in them. And I don't know what made me do it, but I bit the inside of my mouth. I have a huge bite on my own cheek inside. And ever since then, I've just, I can't seem to talk. No, I've been saying weird things all afternoon, haven't I? <laughs> it's okay. So the last Goodwill we stopped at, it's picked over. Yeah. But I did find these. Yeah. Well, this, this. Hey, do you want to go out? Sometimes he sees his reflection in the glass, and it's like there's a cat sitting on the outside. So he goes. Chip, 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 chip. There was one the the one in as we were coming out of Lexington where you got the metal pieces. There was nothing there. Yeah, really. it was big. It was big. Bad. That's the one where I told Sky I said, I wish I could find another quilt for eight dollars. Their prices are crazy at that one. Yeah. 
they did have one of the um what is it lily's sugar and cream that's the kind of yarn that has the little bits to make scrubby um things so it's got cotton thread but it also has a a gritty section in it and i was like oh I'll, I'll get that since it's at goodwill i turned it over they wanted three dollars for a little skein and i'm like nope <laughs> and i set it back down in disgust and scott said nope didn't meet becky standards or something to that effect i'm not going to pay more than two dollars for a tiny what's the you know you got to look at what the value proposition is <laughs> It's just not worth it at some point. You just go buy new for that for that price. Yeah. Well, they get it on sale. They also in that one just outside of Lexington, they have like a little room off to the side. They call it the Goodwill Boutique. The boutique. Don't even go in there. Oh my gosh, those prices are ridiculous. Yeah, you can buy it new in some of this stuff. It's like Goodwill. You need to get real. You're a thrift store. You're not a retail outlet like a big box store or anything. There's a thrift store. It's supposed to be thrifty. That one out, I think it's off the peak exit. It's awful in process, I realize. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I've only been in there once, and I was just like... Shit. Once was enough for us because ugh, I'm not going to pay retail prices at Goodwill. I'm sorry, Goodwill. Well, I've been in that twice. I went with you one time. I went along one time. So yeah. For some reason, I was on that side of town. This is a premier yarn. It's looking to see. Oh. In the red coal says the goodwill there is expensive. Yes, yeah, some places mm -hmm. are too, I think they're too high. Now we did go to a little boutique one up in the Asheville area that wasn't too bad. You no. had to really look, but they then they closed it. So that one's not an option anymore. I like that Salvation Army store downtown. What's what street's that? That's so uh, um tail not Taylor's, it's off Taylor's. What's that one that cuts through there? Is that, um is that Devon? Oh I remember that street. I don't remember the name of it. Hmm. Oh, uh -huh. so well, Taylor intersects it. Yeah, Taylor and and, intersects uh, it. and it goes two notch, two notch intersects it. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's kind a of good it's, one. it's kind of in a poor part of town, but uh, I like the staff's always friendly there. Their prices are good. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we have anything planned for tomorrow. We got to visit mother. Scott's mother. We visit her on Sunday. We tried to visit more often and it just upset her. So she wanted to know who put us up to it. <laughs> oh. Well. So. I think I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty tired. I am just wanted to get this goodwill talked about so we could put it away. And um, I think that's it. All right. Good night. Right. Good night, guys. That's a good deal. That's 48 bucks. I know.